Hi hey guys, hope you are all keeping well. This week we're going to be looking at the white-headed marmoset, or also known as the Jeffrey's marmoset, after Jeffrey Humboldt discovered them in 1812 in Brazil. These beautiful little primates come, as I said, from Brazil and other South American countries. We also class, they're also classed as New World monkeys. The white-headed marmoset are omnivores. Their diet consists of fruit and insects. But they'll also eat small prey animals such as snails, lizards, frogs, and they also love to scoop the gum out of the gum tree. These primates spend most of their time resting and feeding. During the dry season, they spend less time resting and more time foraging for food due to their small body size. Marmosets consume insects to fulfill their protein intake and fat requirements. They can also be found on the understory of the forest, sinely stalking and pouncing on large mobile insects. An unusual fact with these little guys that were in the group the dominant male and female are the only ones to form a monogamous bond. They are the only pair to breed. Reproduction in other adult female troop members is suppressed by pheromones produced by the scent glands of the dominant female. The dominant female will be pregnant for anywhere between 140 and 148 days and she can have up to one to three babies. The infants nurse between five to six months and then, unlike other primates, a female white-headed marmoset feeds both her infants at the same time. Within the first weeks of being born, the father carries the twins exclusively only to hand them over to the mother, the nurse. The father remains the primary carrier of the infants, however, after the first week, all members of the family participating in carrying, up, or in carrying the young. Older siblings also assist taking care of the young. This teaches the older siblings the essential skills that they need for carrying their future offspring. Fully grown marmosets can measure up to 8 inches in height and they can weigh from 230 to 200 or 360 grams. The babies are much, much smaller. The babies reach maturity after about a year. And the average lifespan in the wild is 12 years, but in captivity it's up to 16 years. Folks, please like and subscribe to the video and leave a comment down below if uh, you want to know any more facts or anything. I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks.